Hey, what's going on, guys? Sorry I haven't posted in a while. I know I meant to do a video every day sort of thing. I just kind of ran out of ideas until I thought of making another in-depth review. And this one is going to be of the Chi Chi Heng S Mega Mini. So to start off, I got this cube for $6 on sale on the cubicle.us. But now that the sale is over, it is around eight to nine dollars I haven't exactly checked but let's get into the stability and mechanism so I feel that even if you were to pop this uh, if you were to drop this many 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 times it would still not pop it is very strong and it's the perfect balance between tight and loose which, as you all know, I like loose cubes, but this is a... I like this feeling better for a Mega Minx. So, if we take a piece out, we can see that this is a very thin little top, which, compared to my YJ Mega Minx, it's much thicker. And so let's compare them. This is the this is a piece from the YJ um, Guanhu Mega Links, which is a very cheap one. It looks like this has minimized the amount of ridges than this one, and it's overall just a thinner piece than this one, which is much thicker, but it's still a smaller. But this one is still a smaller piece, as you can see. very different pieces and the corner pieces are have surprisingly I feel that they are sh uh, pretty short stocks for a Mega Minx if you compare them they are well this one is a bit smaller than this one this has added ridges this one has no ridges but again, this Mega Minx is sculpted, so it helps in the <coughs> the sculpted helps in the grip of the Mega Minx and the turning style. So it's a very big leap from this Mega Minx, um, well, from this YJ Mega Minx to this Mega Minx. First of all, these pieces feel much much smaller. Because, most likely because it's not, uh, <laughs> stickerless. And the Chi Chi Heng S Megaminx, the reason there's an S is just because it's stickerless. And that's really all. I think the sculpted pieces look, uh, make it, the Megaminx look much more professional. And I think I could compare it to... Say an X Man Galaxy, sculpted or non sculpted, and it would be <clears throat> very similar since X Men is a sub brand of Chi. Even though this is not magnetic, is still a very high quality cube. Now, onto the turning feeling and everything else. <clears throat> Basically, the turning is very, very, very smooth, and out of the box it is definitely sluggish and luby. <clears throat> it also feels a little dry, which is weird since it's sluggish. You don't usually get a dry and sluggish combo, but the sluggish and the dryness go away just with doing, say, a solve or a couple of turns on each side. So it is really not that big of a deal. So once it is all broken in, it is very smooth, um, I guess a little bit sluggish, but mostly faster, and overall, the feeling of this cube is very nice, it feels very professional, and well thought out, for a Megaminx at least, in my opinion. The shades work perfectly for recognition. The pieces are big enough for recognition, unlike this one. 
where the pieces are much smaller and it's pretty hard to recognize on this. My favorite shades are the red, white, and blue because they look the most American shades compared to something like this where it's that dark blue and overall it's just not the greatest. Another good uh, mixture of shades I like is the white, yellow, and purple. I really like this vibrant neon yellow and the purple is a nice light purple. For the rest of the colors I don't really like to solve on these lighter colors, whereas on this cube I used to love solving on these lighter colors because they were much easier for recognition, but for this one I mostly love to do the white cross and everything because it is so much easier to find. And yes, this was made by Chi, not one of its sub-brands. Most people don't know that Chi makes their own Mega Minxes. I think they have maybe one or two. I think they have the original Chi Chi Hang and the Chi Chi Hang S. So I'm pretty sure the S stands for sculpted or stickerless. I got that confused before. But very, very, very good Mega Minx. And I enjoy solving on it very, very much. So the big time difference was gigantic actually. On this, on this one, I averaged 4 or 5 minutes, high 4s, low 5s. And on this one, I averaged basically any range of 3s and high 2s. So it is about a minute or 2 minutes difference, so it's a very big leap. And now, um, com connecting it to my one of my recent videos where it was called Why I Hate Mega Mix, and it was sort of a comedy me a video, but um, I actually kind of like Mega Minx now because because of the Switch. I hated this Mega Minx, and, I w and to be truthful, it actually was slippery. It didn't slip out of my hands that much like the other video, but it was fairly slippery. Whereas this one, it, since it is sculpted, I have much better grip. And I feel like even if I were to hold it on these two sides, I would not be able to drop it. Like, I, I could hold it up for quite a while. So, now on to the final part. Is taking a look at the core. So, before we get into the cores, let's take a look at the cube size. This feels much bigger because of the pieces. But in reality, this is actually a bigger size, if you can tell. It's just a little, tiny bit taller. I'm not sure why. It might just be, be because of the um, core or whatever, but let's get into the core, actually. So this one has way more ridges and is much more hollow. And it almost looks like a maze to me. Whereas this one is much more spherical almost like the original Rubik's brand cube where its core is basically a sphere. This one does not look like a maze and it looks very simple and just overall cheap. But obviously this is the same price, uh, well not obviously, but this is actually ten dollars whereas this one is eight or nine I've got both these cubes for sale because over 90% of the cubes that I order from the cubicle are on sale just because I like to get multiple cubes in one unboxing. Talking, speaking about unboxings, I have recently ordered three new cubes there for my collection. So since they're just for the collection, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you the name. One is the Land Land 3x3x2, uh, 3x3x2, and another one is a Z 1x3x3, so those will both be adding my two, adding to my three, uh, N by 3x3 collection, so I'll have a 1x3x3 by by and a 2x3x3, and finishing off that, 
I have one more cube. I think, well, yeah, I've basically forgotten what it is. <coughs> if I remember it before the end of this video, I will let you know. But I will most likely check my <coughs> order status anyway for you guys. But I know I did order three puzzles, so that is very nice. So, wrapping up the review, this is a very well thought out cube made by Chi, and it's very underrated. M not many people have bought it. I don't think I've seen anybody review it or unbox it on YouTube. It's mostly just the X Man Mega Minxes. Everybody's talking about the X Man Mega Minxes and how great they are. But most Mega Minxes go away, underrated. Except for new ones that are coming out every day, like the Mofeng Jiaoshi one that just recently came out. I might get my hands on that, but this is good for now. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy this video. If you want to check out my last video, you can just click on my channel, and there it will be. Right after this video. If you like this content, and you want to see my unboxing of this, then you should subscribe. And if you subscribe, you will also be able to get notified when I post the unboxing that I was talking about earlier. So, that's it for this video. I'm trying to make this as high quality as possible, even though I'm not really taking as many uh, clips and everything. So, uh, but I do have good lighting and everything and audio. I'm not using recorded audio like I did in my You Shouldn't Fire S video, but I like this one better, this audio better because it's louder and it's more clear. So, Yep, that's it for this Megaminx. If you want to purchase this, I will link it down below. If you want to check out the cubicle.us or any other cube store, that is linked below along with my uh, YouTube friend channels and other sorts of excitement linked down below. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you want a tutorial on how to solve the Megaminx, just go to my tutorial channel. Link down below, it's near the bottom or whatever. It's just basically my second channel, so that's it for this video, and I will see you all next time. Bye!